funny. Go to hell. Hi, Alice, that's a nice dress. Don't even look at me. Hey, Glenn. Hey, go to hell. Okay, so ESPN tried to pull a fast one on the audience at the SPZ the other night when they presented the US women's soccer team with the Arthur Ashe Courage Award for its equal pay dispute in which they want to be compensated like the US men's national team. Newly ESPN acquisition Pat McAfee hosted the show and did a fairly good job from the few clips I saw. Looks like he got the crowd going with a few lighthearted jokes and took a couple jabs at every sports media's favorite punching bag as of late, Skip Bayless. I still don't think Skip should put that tweet out tomorrow. I think that was a little insensitive. Anyways, during the presentation, ESPN ran a clip of Will King's debate on the US women's soccer team from 2019. However, whoever put this montage together ought to be fired for misrepresenting Will's argument and making him out to be a sexist. For those of you who don't know, Will King is conservative and left ESPN for Fox News a few years back. Seeing him making cameos on first take, I loved watching him not because he was so base compared to everyone else, but rather because he always gave it to Max and Stephen A. And if I'm going to be honest, the guy is pretty smart and knows how to put an argument together. Plus, he's got a sharp tongue. You don't hear a single thing that somebody says to you. First of all, when I say Kevin That's Durant, BS. when I say Kevin Durant has the right and Total I compare BS. it to Matt Burke doing to Obama, Max, Get out of here with I'm making moral equivalencies. You're so addicted to the language of the last week that you made a BS comparison there. I didn't say they were the same. Did I once say those are the same? Why I did said, you bring it no, up no, as an example, Will? Because I show consistency, Max. That's the difference. I'm not convenient. He's just the type of guy when you argue with, you're just going to want to smack because most of the time he's going to be right and cheeky about it. That said, here's a clip of that montage some pimplehead intern at ESPN put up on the screens during the ESPYs. So, critics pushing back at them. I think equal pay is a ridiculous concept in and of itself. Soccer, for better or worse, on the men's side, across this globe, is much more popular than the women's. Oh, we get that argument all the time. So in the clip, Will Kane says, I think equal pay is a ridiculous concept in and of itself. Soccer, for better or worse, on the men's side across the globe is much more popular than women's. That's the entire clip they put on that montage. They took an eight minute segment from four years ago and narrowed it to a 10 second out of context clip for everyone to see. And I'm pretty sure they did this because he's conservative and works for Fox News. Nonetheless, it's some pretty grimy shit to do to one of your former employees. That said, someone on Twitter by the name of Greg Price added some context saying what ESPN just did with that clip to make Will Kane look like a sexist was below the belt and that watching Will's argument in its entirety, you'd understand he was 100% correct. Kane's main argument for the men's and women's World Cup team receiving from a pool of $400 million versus $30 million respectively was because the men's team generated $6 billion in revenue versus $130 million from the women's team. Furthermore, when comparing the two, he argued that the men's team were underpaid because the women's team were collecting 20% from their total revenue while the men's team only collected 6%. Honestly, I don't understand how morons like Megan Rapino can even make an argument for this. The market determines everything. You get paid whatever you're worth. You don't sell or generate money, you get paid accordingly. Look at the WNBA. They don't even make money and yet the NBA finances and eats up all their losses. And these girls are complaining that they're flying commercial and want to get charter planes. That's like me as a content creator complaining that I should be paid the same as Mr. Beast or whomever. On top of that, here's another comparison. Who's the most popular male model in the last 20 years? Pause. Pause, yeah. man. Honestly, I don't even know, but I'd have to guess maybe Tyson Beckford. He's the only one I know. But then you have supermodels like Giselle or Heidi Klum who have amassed a huge fortune. Giselle has even made more money than Tom F and Brady. Like how? There's no way Tyson Beckford made anywhere near that. In fact, checking on Google, it estimates that his net worth to be around $8 million. So how come Megan Rapino never champions for male models to make the same as her female counterparts? You see, it's all BS. It's all virtue signaling mofos looking to deepen their own pockets or look good to the public. The market dictates what you get paid. If someone sees more value in your work, you will have more suitors competing looking to obtain your services at a higher rate. But in the case of Megan, she's not some obscure female player. She's considered one of the best in her craft, but unfortunately, when it comes to women's soccer, no one gives an ish about it. Otherwise, she'd have sponsors and deals up the yin yang. Anyways, FESPN for that chopped up clip and doing Will Kane dirty trying to score some points with their own crowd.